Hey, I'm Andrea from Santa Fe Painted Workshops, and today I'm going to show you how to create a really easy sky with acrylic paint, how to blend, and how to do really easy clouds. So let's get started. The colors you will need are phthalo blue or ultramarine blue, either one, titanium white preferably, zinc white will be too transparent, and a yellow. I have cadmium yellow medium, but you could also use Hansa yellow or cadmium yellow light. Any kind of yellow will do for this because the yellow actually is a really small part of our mix. Okay, so let's begin. I'm working on a 12 by 16 stretch canvas. So we're not gonna need a whole lot of paint in my demonstration here. So make sure if your canvas is a lot bigger that you use a bit more paint than I use. I always wear gloves when I'm painting. The reason why is, for example, in our cadmium, cadmium is a metal, right? And so cadmium red and cadmium yellow both have metal in those uh, pigments. So you wanna protect your hands. If you paint a lot, wear gloves. It's so much easier for cleanup too. Or just make sure you wash your hands really Really well after each session. The reason why we need yellow is because I like to add a little bit of a different color to my sky. So my first tip for you is don't just do blue and white. Like don't just do phthalo blue and white. Change it up a little bit. I think it's why a lot of artists use ultramarine blue because it's a little bit more of a blue purple. But if you add a little bit of red to your blue or a little bit of purple to your blue or like I'm doing today, a little bit of yellow to your blue. Not enough to make it a blue green, but just a little touch to change the color a little bit and make it a little bit more unique and interesting. Okay, so I'm going to start with the color white and add a lot to my palette. And then I will add a little bit of blue here and just a small touch of yellow. So you can see mostly white paint uh, about half the amount with blue and then um, maybe a quarter of yellow. So we're going to mix two different tones here. We're going to go ahead and just use up all of this white here. That'll be our lighter mix. And then we'll just take some of this blue and over here we're going to make a darker mix. Now for each of these colors, we're going to add just a little bit of yellow. All you need is one brush. I have a pretty house painting brush and it has an angle tip. I love these brushes. This is, I believe, a two and a half or a three inch and one will do the job. You can have two if you want to, if you'd like to have two different brushes for your two different colors. But I'll just go ahead and use one. Okay, so we're just putting the paint on the tip of the brush, and you can start with the light first or the dark, doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and just do the light first. And I'm doing big, long strokes across the whole canvas. I'll bring this down about two thirds because I want the light to be more predominant in this. And you can also paint the sides. I like to do big long strokes because I want to emulate the thing I'm painting. So I'm painting a sky, right? And the sky is big and wide and expansive. So I don't want to do brush strokes like this. I want to keep my brush strokes following the form that I'm painting. I'm really trying to hard to get all those little white spaces and covering up that factory gesso that's on the canvas. Okay, this is good enough. So we're about two thirds or more down. And so now we wanna clean our brush. Okay, so now we're going into the darker color. Let's start bottom up. Okay, so now is where we start to blend and we wanna make sure that we have, I like to get the sides, um, make sure we've covered everything we've wanted to cover.
Now I'm going to clean my brush because if I don't clean my brush, this dark color will kind of take over the scene and I don't want that to happen. And you'll see it's starting to blend. And I'm slightly going to move up and down to sort of get rid of that harsh line. So notice I'm really going back and forth here in between the two lines. So you could bring this light color all the way down. You could leave it like that. You could keep moving up. But now we have a pretty subtle gradation from dark to light. So if we want to add some clouds, this is a good time when the paint is still wet. And go ahead and just get a brush and we'll just throw a few in here. But we're going to blend these out. And notice I'm kind of taking them off the page. And let's put, let's make this one bigger. Let's start there and see how we like it. So I just got the same brush. Start at the top here. And we don't want to over blend too much. So here we have this like really subtle sense of clouds. And you could go a little bit more um, overt with clouds if you wanted to. So if you want to go more overt with clouds, let's look at that. I like using a palette knife, and I just put the paint in the bottom of my palette knife here. And I don't have a whole lot. And we could sort of do a very abstract, very ever so lightly touching the canvas here. This is called scumbling. And so this is another way to get some interesting clouds. And what I'm getting is just the texture of the canvas that's giving me um, just a little bit of a little texture in the clouds. Let's do one more. You know, you might also want to make your clouds some that are bigger than others. So we get a sense of space. Also taking your clouds off the page is a good idea. And then you can also do clouds with a, a round brush. So I'm just using white paint here and it's mixing in with the blue that's already there. We just kind of do little circles. And you see, because it's already wet, we're getting this sense of, of translucency here. Now I'm adding a lot more clouds than I might normally do. I just want to show you some different options here. Let's put one off to the side here. So I'm really lightly pushing. I'm going in circles. This is a hard bristle brush, and we're just getting a nice little sense of poofy clouds off in the distance here. And I think I'll, I'm going to work on this one a little bit. I don't really love how that one looks with the palette knife. Okay, so these are just a few different ways to get um, really interesting clouds that are easy to do, just white paint on top of wet sky. So the important thing here is we're on, working on top of wet sky. If you're not working on top of wet sky, then you do want to try to pull in some shadows and highlights and things. But because I have a wet sky and because I use the, um, the brush here, I have some more paint there which creates some highlights. And then we see through to the sky, which is really how the clouds are, right? The clouds are not these solid things. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson on how to do an easy sky and easy clouds with acrylic paint. If you'd like to learn more about color and composition, check out my course, Abstraction Beyond Boundaries. In the online pre-recorded course, I show you how to mix colors like a pro, teach you six eye-catching composition types, and provide you with many techniques and tools to make your abstract painting stand out. Through slides on art vocabulary and multiple demonstration videos, you will be armed with all the resources you need to make abstract painting flow easily. To learn more about the course, click on the link below in the description.